Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will talk about the Bedini circuit, and with this circuit, we can build an electric motor that uses no commutator and brushes. As you can see, the rotor has no connection at all. So, this is a certain type of brushless motor. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The coil is the central part of any motor and in the case of the Bedini motor we need a bifilar coil that is a coil made with two wires. In this case I am using sizes 30 and 24 AWG. We need a plastic bobbin to make the coil. This for example is from a Teflon tape that you can get at any hardware store. Take the two wires, leave some centimeters for the connections and start binding. And here is the finished coil. Obviously we have four wires coming out of it. Two wires at the beginning of the coil and two at the end of the coil. So we have one thick wire and one thin wire at the beginning and also a thick and a thin wire at the end of the coil. Now let's see the connections of the motor. Here we have our coil, two wires at the beginning of the coil and the other two at the end. In red we have the thin wire and the thick one is in blue. The circuit is very simple, only three components, a transistor, NPN transistor, I am using a BD135, but practically any NPN power transistor works well for this circuit. A resistor 100 ohms, 1 watt, and a common diode 1N4007 and here we have our battery or power supply. Let's see the motor in action and then I will explain how this circuit works. Okay, here's the motor. We have our coil. These two wires are the beginning of the coil and these two are the end of the coil. They are connected as in the diagram. Here we have the transistor, diode and the resistor. And the rotor, we have two neodymium magnets and they are mounted in this axis and a pair of screws. Now let's power it and see it working. Let me turn on the power supply. This type of motor will not self-start and the reason will become clear once we explain how it works. So I'm going to give a push to the rotor. There it is.
Let me explain how the circuit works. Remember that we have two coils, the coil of thin wire, which is in red, induces a current in the base and turns the transistor on. Once the transistor is on, the current can flow through the coil of thick wire, which is in blue, and a magnetic field is produced by the coil. When one of the magnets passes near the coil, induces a current in the coil of thin wire and the transistor turns on. Therefore, a current passes through the other coil, the thick coil, and this creates a magnetic field that pushes the magnet and makes the rotor continue to rotate. Now, in this position, no current is induced in the thin coil and the transistor turns off. But the rotor has inertia and continues to rotate. And again, we are in this position when the transistor turns on, the other coil kicks the rotor and this process continues. Both magnets have the same polarity, that is, if this is a north, the other must also be a north, and the coil must be energized such that we have also a north at the upper part. Therefore, when a magnet passes near the coil, a current is induced in the thin wire coil and feeds the base of the transistor. The transistor turns on and now the current from the battery can flow through the other coil and through the transistor and a magnetic field is produced here, pushing the magnet and making the rotor rotate. Okay, that's the Bedini circuit for electric motor. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next one.